Hello and welcome back to my series Melodic Freedom. This is lesson six. Today we're going to talk about um, two five ones and altering the dominant. And uh, if you've been following the lessons up until this point, then when you play over two five one, you sound a lot like Lester Young or a lot of the swing guys, which is which is a great thing. Um, as the music progressed, it, it became common that jazz musicians would alter the, the five chord in a two five one and that would create a little more excitement and a little more um, tension and then we would have that much more of a resolve when we landed on on the one chord. The um, device that we're going to employ today is one that uh, was employed by Wes Montgomery and Pat Martino quite a bit, or at least those are the guys I, I, I think about when I when I use this technique. What we're going to do is we're going to use what is called a tritone substitution, and and that's a a fancy term for for just subbing out the five chord of a two five one with a dominant chord down a half step from the two chord. If you, that confused you, let me let me say that again slowly. Two five one in F major would be G minor seven, C seven, in this case C nine, F major. In order to heighten the tension that is already occurring in that progression, we're going to add some wrong notes. Okay, these wrong notes occur when we play G minor 7 and instead of C7 we play G flat 7 or in this case G flat 13 and then we resolve it to F major 7 let's turn my bass player on and I'll comp the chords with the bass line so you can hear what that sounds like understand it theoretically speaking you just have to understand the sound of it Oops. okay now if we think about the way we've employed melody over chords up until this point it's really easy to go ahead and apply our melodic ideas to this this new chord in the sequence and again, just to review for some of the people who maybe have not watched it all the way up until this point, the two chord, the G minor seven chord, we're playing this type of melodic material. Say that 
again. G minor, D flat minor, D minor. All right. Let's put the bass player to work, and then I'll play some ideas over that chord progression. Complicated. We're playing two, five, one. And by employing this substitute five chord, it, it really just heightens the tension that's already there in that chord progression and gives us a stronger resolution. Now, of course, as with all the other examples, I, I'd highly recommend practicing this in as many keys as you as you can, you know, in all 12 keys. Uh, start with with the key of F, and when that becomes comfortable, and you start playing these melodic ideas, and and it really starts sounding like music, uh, then move it to G or move it to B flat, and and employ the same type of ideas. All right, we'll see you next time.